And I got killed, of course, one day. <laughs> and Greg said to me, I knew I was gonna get you one day. <laughs> yeah. I, I think for me, it, 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 almost a year ago, in, in two weeks, it'll be almost exactly a year that we were in Cleveland, outside of Cleveland. And we were, it was, Tom was there, Savini, and we must have had at least 10 people in one room, just us, George was not there. Um, and it was really all about all of us and what we had done 30 years ago. And just to be with everybody. I mean, Terry and Lori, of course, but Tasso was there. Phil Kellums, who I had to take out after he got bit in the throat. People I had not seen that I heard rumors about. I remember hearing that Phil Kellums was dead, you know, and, and there, and there, but that, that just being in Cleveland with all, with all of us, because that's never really been, we've never been where there's been like almost a dozen of us together um, at one time. And it was just, and it was just, you. Yeah, it was, it was, it was just, a, again, you know, we can leave here, you know, on Sunday or Monday of this weekend, and I just know that somewhere out there, you know, Terry's out there, Lori's out there, we're a phone call away, a show away, it's, it's, it, there, it, for me there's been nothing like it in my life. I'm just grateful, I'm just very grateful to somebody, that all you guys appreciate what we did, That's and again, I without know. you, we don't exist. Yeah. We really don't. And, and I just think that, you know, Day is, again, is aged like a very, very fine wine. I think it gets better. And it took me a while to understand it too. And like I said, that scene with Lori and Terry, just, boy, I'll tell you, I just, I pull stuff out of it every time I want. It just gets deeper to me. And maybe it's the times we're living in too, so. I think for me, actually, well, first of all, it's meeting all of you. And I, I'm not just saying that because you're here. Uh, it, it, honestly, it, it was so lovely to, to meet the people that, as we keep saying, kept Day alive, you know, yeah. and um, people that usually like Day are, are um, much more cerebral, I think, in a way, because there's so much, uh, George had so much... Uh, philosophical. Philo yeah, philosophical and thoughtful, and um, and I, I just, I think that when, you know, as an actress, you think, well, you just love your work. I loved my work, and I always treated it more as an art form I like the art form of acting. I loved doing theater. I loved building a character. Um, I never liked, uh, I never wanted to, I just never liked show business. The business, you know? Laurie. And I, I feel so happy to have been part of something that will live on in film history. Um, to have known George, to have my good friends, uh, to be able to meet you all. And um, it's, it is a, a, a something that we did that I never thought would keep giving back. And to hear George say it was the best film he ever did. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And there's a college professor at Iona College in New Rochelle, New York, which is a very good Catholic university, named Dr. Kim Paffenroth, who has written a hardcover book called The Gospel According to George Romero. And I, I've read it. I met him, and it's actually quite brilliant. He ties it into Dante's Circles of Hell. Very interesting how he ties in night, dawn, and then day, because it's really about the trilogy there, and a little mention of land. But he, he explains it all in terms of Dante's circles of hell. Dante Allegretti. Thank you all so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Millian. Larry Henderson, Gary Clark, Bruce Verdillon.